Hi friends, in Planet Earth Dating, it's Monday, August 1st, 2016. In both the Lynn Life and the Jamie Body Mind, we still have very pompous aspects from a geographically higher dimension who are quite sure that they're right about everything, but who give such clear examples of misdirection that it's clear that they are deep inside the contamination, just as all of us are, and that therefore we're not supposed to be listening to them because they give direction that not only is incorrect but doesn't even make any sense. Because of that we're going to go with game theory for the formally videoed portions of today's efforts. And game theory says that first we need to uh, do some actual work of clearing smaller subatomic children up through us, not to us, aiming up ever higher to those probes who do actually seem to be out of the contagion, uh, thank goodness, and work with that for a little bit of time and then turn our attention to the no one left behind efforts and and work somehow with the lab that's studying the secret life of the smaller subatomic as well as the future life of our Ra, the next uh, incarnation of our Ra who seems to be the grad student in that lab or running that lab. And to also work with Phil who we have found in a dimension that's larger than this dimension but smaller than the one where our Ra is and no one left behind rules apply to them because both of their levels are quite clearly in the contaminated zone because these aspects who are here right now are from even higher and these aspects are just jerks. That's true. So with that, the formally videoed portions of today's efforts begin. Starting to get the flow going from the smaller subatomic running these refugee uh, trains and uh, what do we know? We know that presences from Central America will continue to pour into North America long after the collapse of North American culture is complete. Uh, why, why do we say that? Well part of it would just be straight up wishful thinking because true. it is a, a hellish mess in Central America and they will have a hard time accepting that it's also a hellish mess in North America. That's true. And they'll keep coming uh, just on the hope that it's better. But also it may in fact be better, I don't know. In any event, the smaller subatomic levels right now are in much worse shape than the levels uh, that we're operating inside of and it seems to actually consistently get worse the deeper into the smaller subatomic we move. That's true. The more tightly compacted the lies are, which, which makes sense. The law of attraction is real. Like attracts like. Heavier things settle down and deeper into the smaller subatomic and so tighter and tighter peck the lies. That's true. Therefore, even though it's uh, contamination as far as we can see, pretty much, well that's not true because we can see where the probes are and they are in the clear. That's true. We mm. can see them. We can see them, but it's contamination as far as we can read. That's true. That uh, it's probably less contaminated way up there than it is way down deep in the smaller subatomic and therefore let's get these kids going through us not to us and through that lab that's studying the secret life of the smaller subatomic not to that lab headed for the probes with the instruction of uh, if you begin to fall down before you reach the probes then to just get off the ride at whatever dimension you're on and tell those presences you'll find yourself in the midst of, tell them about your life in the smaller subatomic and ask them for answers as to why you had that kind of life. And these are children we're sending up, abused children, terribly abused children. Didn't hear what? What didn't you hear? All the people that we were talking to who had asked the question in the first place, they were leaning over and then you said, does that make sense? And I can feel that they're still there leaning over and 
Right, but remember what we've been working with today is these people come and go, 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 come and go. Who's always here? The body. So? Yes, this makes perfect sense to the body. And I see that what I was doing wrong was pretending that what the jerks upstairs were doing was more important than just acknowledging what needs to be done and doing what needs to be done. Because they are going to come and go, come and go, come and go. And when they're silent on the issue, does that mean that you two are supposed to be silent? Or in the search for truth effort, is it a requirement of the search for truth effort that we all speak up with regard to everything that's happening and our take on what it is that's really going on? Yes. And so just because somebody else is silent, does that mean that we too are also supposed to be silent? Somebody's no. breaking the rules and so we're supposed to break the rules? No. No. That's true. The Search for Truth rules say whenever something happens, we all speak up as to whether or not we think the interpretation is accurate as is, or if we can make the interpretation Bad. better and this more accurate. True. And the only thing that is not allowed is being silent. That's true. Any answer is allowable, but silence is not, not allowable. allowable. That's true. Oh, I feel lots of clicking off feelings. This is true. This is the rule. Well, what do I know? I know we've been doing an awful lot of work this past couple of days to do with blockages, blockages that have been placed in the way of the assignments that have been given to all of us. Yes, this is true. And it's possible that what's uh, flaring is a blockage. I'm not saying that's it. I'm just trying to put options on the yes, table that, could that be what can this be evaluated. Is. That can be what this feeling is. All right, so let's... Because it's a stuck feeling and a silent feeling. So try to find, find the blockages the blockage, structurally. Bang, just find them and pull them out, whatever they are, and whatever they represent. Them. <coughs> and to burn them. Oh, They're a gift no. of energy. Burn them to power, power the, probes the probes and the race for a consistent source of significantly higher vibrations. That's true. Don't waste this gift of energy. That's Anything true. we can lay our hands on that isn't helpful, we need to burn to, to, power, to power the, the probes. probes and the rays for consistent source of significantly, significantly higher, higher vibrations. vibrations. Anything to escape the rapidly spreading contagion of That's lies. True. I'm pulling them up. Which acts like a black hole and may or may not be a literal black hole. That's true. And somebody's wanting to argue as if the black hole was separate from us. No, you fool. If we were inside a newly forming black hole, how would it look? What would it look like? Let me just ask you a question, friend. In whatever dimension you're operating, do your astronomers uh, now say, the universe is rushing away from us, but some time ago used to say, the universe is rushing toward us. Yes. Right, that's what they've done down here, too, and they call it a misdiagnosis. And what do we know? We know from uh, a very long healing practice, 17 years of healing practice, that this is classic. When the energy shifts, the doctors say, oh, it was a misdiagnosis. We now see that you don't have cancer, you don't have arthritis, you don't have lupus. That's and true. we thought that you did for 15 years, and you have 15 years of lab tests that say that you did, but now we don't think you do. That's true. It was a misdiagnosis. And that's basically what the astronomers are saying. There's some uh, distance past which light is acting differently. That's true. And if we were inside of a newly forming black hole, how would it be different than that? I have a head clearing feeling. I do too. And a lengthening feeling. I do too. Now let's focus on the probes and pulse up the children from the smaller subatomic and try to interweave that with our use of electrons and electricity and to just offer the opportunity, all who wish to get out of here, move through here, ride these electrical currents and get out. <laughs> That's true. Now I feel, it what feels like refugee families, not just refugee children. It's interesting, they're moving more slowly 
than the unencumbered children. That's true. But I do feel families moving together and they're very sad and it's a heavy laden feeling. Yes, that's true. Burdened. I preferred working with just, the, just the kids. Children. That's true. But maybe this is better for the greater good. Maybe what I prefer doesn't matter. Could be, or it could be that I prefer it because it works better. I don't know, but if the the assignment is to race to get to a consistent source of significantly higher vibration, then slow plodding footsteps doesn't make sense. Doesn't fit the assignment. Let's find presences who are uh, ready, willing, and able to race for a consistent source of significantly higher vibration. That's true, and who want to and who crave to be in the presence of a consistent source of significantly higher vibration. And now Phil is coming into my focus. He, That's true. He really does crave that. That's true. We can bifurcate. All of us who crave the presence of a consistent source of significantly higher vibration to the search for truth central axis and all others it's flung away. away. It feels as though Phil is either ringing himself out or that Grace is ringing out all of that wishful thinking that he kind of got saturated with in yesterday's effort. That feels true. Yeah, this is like drying out, which is a play on words because when people get drunk, uh, they're said to dry out when they're addicted. Alcoholics are said to dry out when That's the true. alcohol addiction is being broken or being interrupted. Yes, that's true. And what do I know? I notice that we definitely feel this strong addictive craving to bathe in the lies uh, because the truths are so inconvenient. That's true. And we see the charts and graphs that show the environmental collapse has begun. The question is not when will it begin, it's hey, friends, it happened, it's begun. And the economic collapse, the charts are the same. Hey, friends, it happened in 2008. That's and they're true. just covering it up by printing fake money backed by air, nothing but air. Um, we are in the collapse time, and now we see the collapse of our uh, social structure where prejudice and xenophobia and misogyny are being uh, held up as laudable. That's true. That's a social collapse, that's a societal collapse. So we have a collapse environmentally, we have a collapse economically, we have a collapse societally. Uh, all that's really left is uh, tanks and militia in the streets. That's true. Well, and what else is left is that pulling the rug out from under feeling. Whoosh! Uh, which is like a magic trick move. And when the rug comes out from under, whoom, the house of cards will fall down. And then people will s realize to some extent or another, depending on how much they want to acknowledge That's it, true. that the collapse happened long ago. That's true. And that happened, um, I don't know, 40, 50 years ago. That's maybe. true. 